So, yeah, remember when I said we were going to do two alongside X? Oh, well, I was an idiot back then, because I realized in hindsight it would be kind of redundant to, re to do that and X at the same time, so we're just going to stick with Metal Slug X. And this time around, I've enlisted Seely into my ranks. Hello. Sir, I think... I, I don't know, sir. She she doesn't meet army regulation. Ooh. I mean, she's a Pichu, for crying out loud. That was very intense. Catch your Pichu with a gun. What kind of adorable? You, you can have Pichu yeah. hold up all the guns in Smash Brothers. They can. She can. Oh, yeah. She can. Pichu. 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 Yeah. So yeah. Oh, a good one. And then yeah, and then yeah, as James and I were having a whole discussion about it. So X is basically a remake of two. It's an. Exp it's basically an updated expansion, kind of in a similar vein to like Street Fighter Two Champion Edition or Turbo. Any or turbo, yeah, pretty much the same, pretty much that kind of thing. Because uh, with I do recall hearing that with the original Metal Slug Two, um, it mostly it mostly got plagued with a few um, frame rate and buggy bug, bugs and whatnot. Uh -huh. It was just it was it was a it was manageable, but it was still sort of like a technical mess in some regards. So SNK brought it upon themselves to uh, revamp it and not only give it get, have it run at a more hopefully run at a more stable, you know. Just run more stably in general. It also remixed a few things, added in, made it, and a whole bunch of other add-ons, which you will likely see throughout the course of the game. Or at least, well, at least Logan will know because, well, again, the initial plan was we were going to do both Metal Slug 2 and Metal Slug X to sort of highlight the differences between the two. Mm -hmm. Though, in retrospect, like honestly, yeah, I crawl and you. there you go. Honestly, Metal Slug X didn't really remove anything from the from the original Metal Slug 2 beyond like a few changes, like the fact that Metal Slug 2. This stage here took place in the daytime, whereas in X it takes place at night. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm so, stupid enough to run into the rocket. Now oh, you're yeah, fine. By, oh yeah, by the way, um, hey, no, um, hope you don't mind um, Seely playing pulling through the entire campaign as the blonde chick. She liked Ari. <laughs> right. But but you actually, know, the, but actually she is a good. Go ahead. You can ride the camel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, and that's and actually, I couldn't for the life of me. There, there you go. That's actually one of the. That's a, that's a cool thing about Metal Slug Two and X is that. Okay, what the frick? Well, those, the, why did they all they, they all explode in the background the suddenly? Oh. Yeah. Also, this is such a this is such a black comedy baby. sort of joke. Like, oh, there's like, a baby. Yeah. I don't oh. think I ever noticed the baby before. Oh, geez, yeah. the baby's just kind of crawling around. The ba the baby was crawling out of the, the assortment of with, the, with that assortment of soldiers. The baby. Like, no. Who are they hiring? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and I think actually was that there also the first uh, first time appearance of I keep forgetting her name, but she's like the combat medic who always has the big old backpack full of stuff. Yep, that's her. Okay, I always forget I her name, this but was her debut because again, Metal Slug Two added in a lot, like the fact that you can there's more kinds of slugs than the typical Metal Slug. You also got a Camel Slug. Yep. Camel oh, slug. okay. That, and I guess that's the other thing uh, is that this is also noteworthy because Celia, I believe this is your first ever time handling all the Metal Slug stuff. What did you think? Yep. Well, Good with that, panel. I didn't have a... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Oh, hey, I remember this boss. It's a really typical... It's a real typical run-and-gun sort of game, and it's... And, I mean, just... It's with the... And we've said it before with, oh. the, first, <laughs> with the first commentary, <laughs> but... <laughs> just, yeah, blow up, blow up that can, and all of a sudden, three survivors pop out, just... Skipping along their day. What was that? Good thing friendly fire doesn't exist. Yeah, thank goodness. And I'll say that. Oh, and nice. You're gonna blow it up, nice. That, and I'll say actually more so than that. Uh oh. I would say more so than more so than that. I noticed that Celie wasn't firing anything because she made the same mistake I did, which is that whenever you're on the, the metal slugs, holding the directional pad locks in the turret to whatever direction you're facing. So it's possible that if you're holding left and then stop, you're gonna just be firing to the left constantly. Yeah. But hey, mission done. It oh, happens. Bubble gum. Yeah, so... she just joined gum. I never noticed that. Just hanging I mean, out. She doesn't, doesn't, have, doesn't have anything better to do. Also, uh, yeah, she picked she picked up a laser shot while on the camel, but unfortunately she's gonna have to leave her old Betsy behind. I don't oh, think, no. Yeah, the camel can't jump over that. You can't swim. Uh, can't... No. You're gonna have Goodbye, to let go of camel. old Betsy. I love how the game. Well, actually, I I think oh, it was oh, the like oh, how do I get I was like, how do I get off the camel? I can't get off the camel. Aw. Oh, yeah, I guess we should, um... One thing I'm curious uh, about, at least I'm sure Hype is as well, <laughs> is what is happening in this game? What is the plot of Metal Slug 2? I mean, straight to the point, um... 
Uh, Borden and his army, I've returned. And not only that, um, there's a whole lot of weird oddities happening all across the world. Like, uh, mummies, mummies are a thing now. Oh, mummies? Like, real-life mummies. Ah! Oh, jeez. That can today. turn you into mummies. I'm a mummy! Yep. Um, another thing this game added in were, is character transformations. And, um, oftentimes they're a hindrance, but sometimes they also have a weird... I don't know why I'm going in there. A strangely added benefit. Unfortunately, the mummy here is a complete is well. It's funny to look at, but it's a complete it's a complete downgrade to your character in every sense of the word. Yeah. It makes I love you slower. That says human when you grab the potion. Yeah, well, I know it makes you slower. It's definitely not like the the wacky one in the in the uh, third one. Oh yeah, Logan. Th um, this is actually That's new. That's so for, sad. This is new to Metal Slug X. Mummy dogs. Oh, okay, those are dogs. dogs. For a I thought they were pigs. That's so sad. Yeah, did but you hear them whining when you kill them? Yeah, yeah, but once again, gotta say, pretty well animated. Yeah, they like roast this. alive, Jesus. Oh yeah, no, this, oh, was, no, literally, again, this ah, was literally Nazca's, Nazca's M.O. with the first game up until the third game. Look at the way I crouch as a mummy. Yeah. Oh yeah, when you crouch, you kind of unravel. Boom. Uh, Man, this, this one dog. And, I mean... There. This game ups the ante in terms of how... Seriously ridiculous this game can, this whole series can get. Like again, oh, the fir the first game was the most at home <laughs> no, with its whole warlike nature that? here. It's mm -hmm. like weird shit's happening everywhere. I mean, this is a I think even more so than the first game and definitely some parts of the third game. Uh -oh. We just got a potion, now we're both mummies. Is that yeah. like I feel like this game especially got like ridiculously cartoonish with everything yeah, that's happening. Yeah. Although, I think in this game's case, I think that's a good thing, considering the fact that the game already had a very... Why am I just standing there? Had a very just getting... It had right. a very animated look, like, art style, and I think they just ran, ran with it, for, like, the, as, as the further the series went on. Yeah, oh. And Oops. you'd both go where you belong. Ah. Well, well, Seely, this is what we get for being a little too wrapped up in our work. Ha. Ah. Oh, the medic. Stop, medic. Help we come in peace. Us. Help Help. So that being said, if you if you just shoot, if you do shoot in her direction, you just oh, you just you just uh, you just pop a hole in her backpack, and all the stuff that she normally carries will just you know pop out. Fair enough. Careful. Oh yeah, another thing that's worth mentioning about Metal Slug X is that it's a fair bit harder than the original game. Uh, I'm surprised I made it through. Well, I mean, you guys now, have a lot. You and guys now have it's any time for an all girls night. Yay! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! I guess we can. not I can't believe we actually didn't bring that up. Uh, this game brought this game as you already saw in the first part with Seely, and now with James introduced two new characters to the command troops. Yep, uh, this time around we have um, Aerie and Theo, who I don't immediately remember who they work for, but I think they're a, a faction of the uh, of the of the Paragon Falcons that uh, Marco and uh, Tarma uh, usually work for. Okay, makes sense. Either way, they both don't like freaking oh geez, Mordak. <laughs> Get away from me! Not more that. I was sure you were hit by that. Either way, they, either way, they all don't ah. like. Aww. Either way, they all don't like Martin, so they all gotta destroy him. Yeah. Oh, well, naturally, the dude's an asshole. Wait. Bombs. Whoa. Wait. I mean, Bombs. There you go. I mean, admittedly, it's funny too, because at first it doesn't seem like Martin's a, 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 at all part of the picture at all, but then, like, I mean, as, as the game goes on, you start to see his men, and it's like, oh god damn it! You, of course, you'd be back, back to your old tricks again. Oh, oh god! A sneak attack. Well, I mean, behind you. Aww. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I was doing there. Well, I mean, that's gruesome. You, I mean, James and I saw the end of Metal Slug One. That yeah, of course, Martin wasn't down and out for good. Yeah, I still find it weird though that that was the ending you only get if you play this <laughs> game and if you get to play the game in co-op with that anime is all get out <laughs> ending. Oh, having a good old time and uh oh. Uh, At least so, I'm not a mummy anymore. Yep. So it, would you? It's, oh. it's good. Good for you. I'm dead. <laughs> So, I guess, so I'm curious, between this and one, what were your thoughts about it, about moving on to this one, James? I mean, it's crazy. I'll give, you, I'll give it that. And, I mean, again, it's I think it's a good kind of crazy. Like, it, it, this this game clearly plays to the series of strengths. Oh, yeah, it definitely gives it more style. Arguably more so than all the others. Although, oh, that being said, there's also the third game, which just reaches its, its straight-up peak. Well, absolutely, and get ready for that wild ride. And then that was, again, I guess, that was, I think, again, where the original developers finished off. Yeah, that was literally their swan song. Okay. And then four through six, they just were like, well, Metal Slug makes money. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, that's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. It's just that, well, they you can sort of tell that it, 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 the game, the series was literally go, running through the Mega Man effect by that point. Yeah, they made sequels that's true. for the sake of making sequels, even if they there were a few interesting ideas brought about here and there. Right. All right, careful up there. Oh, okay, oh. good. You grabbed oh. that. Oh, oh, come on. Now, Every time. And now the question remains: Who's the real mummy? <laughs> Da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, that was a terrible, that was a terrible one. Ignore me. We forgive oh, you. We forgive you. Hi, oh, what do you? Pigs, I, and pigs and chickens. Piggies. I saw that. And hi, what are your thoughts on about all this nonsense? It's utter nonsense. I'll give it that much. And we've only just, yeah, we've only just started. I mean, we still had fun. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, yeah, they're definitely a lot more insane in this game compared to the first one. Yeah. And just as insane as all the uh, all the weird creatures and and scenarios we have to be going up going through, that also applies to the boss fights. So, in oh, which case, for this yeah. one we're introduced to this little uh, walker slug thingy, which shoots straight down for what it's worth. It's mostly a, a thing, thing for jumping. I don't want it. Oh wait, do I want it? I think, I think you, you want you it. You want it, Seely? Give him the boss up ahead. Is, this this next boss is going to be hard without it. So jump on up. All yeah, blow it up. She blew it up. Don't worry, you, did, you made the exact same mistake I did when I'm ever in the Metal Slugs, which is that whenever, if you hit jump and attack at the same time, you self-detonate it. Hello. Oh, oh Yeah, that would have been, yeah, that machine gun would have been really helpful right about, uh, the back would have been really helpful right about now. It really would have, but, I mean, a rookie mistake. This thing was... Our heavy Jay machine guns. I can't remember James was yelling at me, point down, point down, point down! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now we got the. Oh, jeez, that thing is threatening to swallow up the entire pillar. <laughs> careful, oh, careful. Gee. Oh, jeez. At least Lordy. it's not a hole. If you both die, you lose. Oh, Ooh. no, my machine gun. Now I'm going to switch back to a reliable. And again, as you see, Seely had one character and liked it. That yep. is, yeah. Then, I mean, do Fair all enough. of them play differently from each other? No, oh, no they're they all, all play the exact same. same. Let's. It's yeah, all it's purely preference at that point. Oh, that was it. So this was the game that had the rocket lawn chair. Yes, this was this was the this was the um this is the game that introduced the the announcer that really oh did, there, you, oh, did you say uh, rocket lawn chair? Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's the joke people make is because it sounds like he's saying it rocky lawn chair. Oh, like yeah. Oh. It's very English and, and honestly, it's, it's 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 the kind of English that you know really made this this era of gaming thrive <laughs> yeah so so it begins mission complete. well i mean it ends technically it can't begin because the mission's already about ending but uh that's the other thing <laughs> that, that, that was cute as you just popped the government yeah. there's morn's army of oh they'd, nuts they'd, they'd be put into the plot eventually get rid of them and get uh, rid of it, them and save the pigs and as you can so, as, oh go ahead i don't think i ever asked were you supposed to Re recapture well, prisoners was that supposed to be a thing? Uh, basically, the, the thing with recapturing prisoners—that's all just a matter of like, well, you can you can rescue them as always, and they'll they'll leave out items out of their trousers for you to collect. Other than that, like, the game will like keep keep count of how many um, survivors you were able to save in one life. But if you ever die at any point, you you pretty much lose that streak. Oh, it's okay. pretty arcadey. I was gonna say arcade. I was gonna say it's pretty freaking brutal considering like how easy it is to die in this game. Oh yeah, yeah no, this, game, like this, right game there. this game is the textbook definition of a quarter muncher. Yeah. The only time we've ever been able to, I, I'm pretty sure it's only happened like once or twice where we actually had a prisoner count by the end of a level, just because like we got lucky on the boss or something. But like on the very rare occasion, yeah. you might even be able to beat the level while still holding on to your metal slug. Yeah, that too. Because the game does count that. Oh, okay. The, the metal the metal slug doesn't actually have a time limit. It is possible just to keep it the whole time. Hey, yeah, it, you, you very well can. Okay. So, Seely, was there a reason why you liked Airy the most? I uh, I don't know. I just like was it the banana or the fact she was a blonde. Probably the fact she was a blonde, and I like staying consistent. That's Fair fun. enough. Once again, this music script. I need to look up who did the music in this because it has a really nice, like, smooth vibe to it. It reminds, it reminds me of the music in Spelunky. That with, was like, where the we both died, but I didn't hear her scream. Aww. And yeah, yeah the, music, the, the music for these games is really good. And I mean, 
it, most else I can really say about it is the fact that I, it still shames me that Smash Brothers kind of did the soundtrack dirty. Oh, they did. Is oh, that, they removed. Is it? that Soldier wearing swim trunks? Yeah, they yes. were on. Yeah, it was a pool party, and then oh, no more, no pool party. Yeah, no, they we were caught, just having. We, a... we caught them in the middle of it. Yeah, we caught them in the middle of their R and R. I didn't notice that before because I was just trying to stay alive. Can yeah, that's really, a, anyway. Really, we did. We did end up killing killing a poor schmuck who was just enjoying enjoying a nice uh nice cold one. Yeah, oh, they're just telling jokes. I was, about, I was just saying that, like, you're talking about how, like, Smash took this series' of soundtrack dirty. To be fair, the series wasn't the one that picked to uh, represent Smash. I didn't Smash. work. Oh, I know. It's just that, well, I think, I guess the big takeaway is that I, I the, the only thing I, the only reason I say that is that, well, they did remix a few tracks from the series, though, honestly, the remixes in themselves were kind of, uh, below, below average. Uh, uh, which songs mm -hmm. did they remix in particular? Uh, I know they did the whole, that whole, um theme that plays in during more tense situations. And I think oh, they also did that you had one job, Sealy. Um <laughs> I think they also, they also did remix the uh the theme of the first level of No Slot One. Mm. But other than that, like I think that's about there might have been one or two other that they did they remixed, but that was about it. And again, I just they were they were just eh. Like I didn't think I didn't think too much of them oh, at the end nice. of the day. Oh, that, oh oh that that's actually that I almost forgot. This boss here was supposed to be the boss of the first level, but they changed it for uh, Metal Slug X, so now he's a mid boss for level three. Oh, interesting. Oh god, oh, he just. Oh, what's up? I, I love how oh, that's, that's literally his. I love how that's literally one of his attacks. What is, hit me? He just drops the tanks that he was holding above you. <laughs> just drop, drop, drop your load, boys. Share the load. Oh gosh. Ow! Oh, that's, Dang. That's Ow! Oh, that's a bit overkill. If you both die, the, if you both run out of lives at the exact same time, will it actually like end the whole thing? Oh God, no! Um, this game is actually Thank very God. generous about uh, continues because, like, it, basically, if you're if, even if you're playing solo, ooh, look at all the coins we can get! <gasps> nice, but, um, money, we're money. rich. Oh, okay, but um, anyway, yeah, uh, if at, if at any point you die, whether it be solo or co-op, you do get the typical uh, continue countdown, and then you can just uh, re you can pretty much um, vibe, uh, respawn back to where you previously died. Okay. Also, that's a wacky little gun you got there now. Oh, oh yeah. The uh, I think that's called the drop shot. Whoa. And now I got oh. a machine gun again. Uh, Sealy. Sealy, pop back in. There you go. But oh jeez. But yeah. Other than that, I other than that, Sealy, I honestly, in terms of in terms of the whole like, you almost can never tell what's happening. Like it's it's very much a shoot 'em up in that regard. Where like you're having to pay so much, you have to pay so much close attention to what your action to what your character is that you don't even get to really appreciate. All these background elements going on as it's happening. Yeah. Ooh, metal slugs. You're just, and a, uh, you're just focusing on not dying. A metal yeah. slug and a metal butterfly. Whoops. I'm trying and to the get metal it. Uh-oh. Oh, get, get in there. Oh. She just, Do I have to murder everyone myself? There you go. <laughs> okay, that does, kind of what it, that does what it feels. That is what it feels like half the time. Oh, yeah. I'm flying. I'm flying, baby. I'm flying. Again, you just gotta be careful with the gun turn. It, ha it like moves with the D-pad and then holds. It's yeah, interesting. It's a it's a one stick shooter, unfortunately. Yeah. Wow. Man, I mean, that's actually the only thing. But I can absolutely see this. I don't know if future, I don't know if uh, later Metal Slug titles did this, but I can absolutely see this game working as a twin stick platformer. I could sort of see it. Um, it had to have a very specific control scheme in mind, like um... like Cuphead. Yeah, kind of like Cup, kind of like Cuphead. Even though, well, the thing is, Cuphead was never a twin stick. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Dang Careful. It. Uh, there I will admit, though, I do applaud Sealy oh, no. for being able to keep a hold of that flame slug for as long as she did. I know, right? Just don't jump at the same time, otherwise you'll self-destruct the sucker. And uh-oh. Yeah. Oh boy. Hello. Suddenly. I'm already launching on that thing. Back. I was ahead of the game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is the song I was thinking of. This is one of the, uh... Pull it out! Well, there goes that. Jump out of the ship before it blows up! Oh. <laughs> Take off the ejector seats. We're um, okay. Yeah, this is the song I was thinking of. One of the uh, sea songs they remixed in Smash Brothers. Ah. And you didn't like how the... And you didn't like the instrumentation? Yeah, it felt a little weak. What was I thinking going up close to him? I mean... Sometimes, I mean, the Dark Souls usually has that thing. Oh, hey, hey, Medic Pack Lady, you better get out of here. Oh, jeez, get okay. out of here, Medic Pack Lady. Oh, oh wow, she, she she took that, she took that <laughs> Oh, cow. <laughs> Just Goomba stomped you. Yeah, no, I mean, oh, I, I understand that sometimes, oof. 
sometimes uh, in Dark Souls, like getting up close to the boss is actually the safest place because it doesn't have a lot of short range attacks. But then you have to watch out for the for when they actually do take take close counters into account. Yeah. And this is mostly towards the audience and Dang I can accept. But if you see, if if the deaths here look 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 pretty gruesome already, wait till you see the third game. Oh really gosh, good. yeah. Let me look up okay, this composer. Okay, this isn't like, doing they, anything. Does it ever reach like Mortal Kombat levels of gruesome? Man. At one point, yes. Oh, I guess. Oh, you mean the oh the acid death? That's right. Yes. We'll yes. get to that part later. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> it, but it's so, it's also it sh shivers up my spine. Well, it, the idea is that it's all meant to be like cartoon violence, but yeah, okay. So let me look into this composer. So also, I just realized, am I am I literally out of the screen at the moment, or uh, no, you're okay. behind? No, that. you're behind. Gary was literally right in front of me. I thought the thing scooped you up and drove you off screen. Like, where am I going? That's kind of yeah. what I thought too. Yeah. Yay! We're halfway through. Yay! We're halfway through. We're not even done with the video yet. Oh crap. <laughs> And now oh, we're, we're heading Tokyo. straight to good old Japan. At least I assume this is Japan. The music sounds Japan. like it, and... What were you doing in that refrigerator? Yeah, the let me see... in our way. Oh, jeez, yes. Let me look at this composer. So his name is Takushi Hiyamuda. Hayamuda, sorry. And... Of course... Oh, yeah, but I want to be careful with all that food items, otherwise you'd go big. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. He did, uh... Oh, gosh. That's an... Oh, yeah, that's a new transformation they added. Yep. Pretty much, uh, fat mode. That's gruesome! Yeah, yeah. yeah, you pop like a balloon when you die from it. But yeah, basically, when you go into big mode, basically, your shots are bigger, and I do believe your, uh, your, um, bombs are replaced with the cherry bombs, which are, have a bigger radius, and your, a... and your, and your close-range weapon, which is normally a combat knife, is turned into a freaking cartoon fork. Yeah, you shank them. But, yeah, as you can see, like, it's all... It's oh. very, it's very, it's very much like a sudden, like, glass cannon, like, high power kind of transformation but also seriously inhibits your movement so careful oh, yeah, yeah you you do you do move a little slower than normal but which i mean granted honestly i've never found it to be did i just pick up did i just pick up a pile of shit he had to give whatever he had to the troops i saw that yeah. too and i was like what see i'm looking I mean, at this here about it that is the most realistic expectation at, during a war war like scene but still so let's see, so this guy, actually, so the composer for this started off with Metal Slug 2, he also composed how music- how they use their arms to flap. Yeah, just, he also composed music for the King of Fighters R1 and R2, um, well this is adorable, his name, his last name is Hayamuda, so whenever he, whenever he, uh, received uh, a composer credit, that's the guy who, who calls himself Haya! Oh yeah. With the exclamation mark, that's who he is, like, it's that like freaking. It's like Yuki Chan's Papa or whatever. Oh yeah. But uh, let's see. He did uh, Metal Slug Complete. He did Irem. I never, I never saw the game Irem. And then, uh, yeah, looking at this, it looks like he really only like Dang, stuck to Metal Scuba Divers. Nice. It seems like he really only stuck to Metal Slug. Uh, that in the second game of and ha the second half minute hero game. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. Oh shit! I almost forgot. It's one of the um, one of the survivors we just picked up. Uh, this guy's special because he can he shoot. He can do fire balls. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I know. Well, a, I, I know this one has a specific name, but I'm asked to remember it. it oh shit! Martians! Oh, why are the aliens now? Because yes. Because why not? Okay. It should be and, said that in the in the original in the original Metal Slug Two, you actually didn't even meet these guys till the very end of the game. Here, they well, technically you got a glimpse of them at the very in the very first level. But as actual threats, you actually meet them as early as the mark in this in this level. Jeez, that laser beam is ridiculous. Whoa, look at that and laser it, beam! And all it and all it costed was a hundred pounds. Oh no, I'm fat. Yeah, <laughs> that, oh, you were, or we were. But you know, it's a good. Hey, you know what? Being able to revive on the spot really does really does um really does um loosen up loosen up the waistband. Yeah. Yes, it does. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, and I'm, I'm assuming, spoilers I guess for later, is I'm assuming they wanted to increase their presence in this game to make it more in line with the third game. Uh, I believe so. And <laughs> I still love, even though I actually went into big mode, I was able to fit in the metal, metal slug with no problem. I thought you were going to say, I love how, the, how even the announcer was like, whoa, whoa, big. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Okay, okay. Again, that, it's just a testament to how freaking wacky this game gets. I have a, a flamethrower? Yep, it was like a flame shotgun thingy. 
Yeah, the flame shot is pretty destructive in its own right. We actually saw saw it in some regard in the first game. I'm not really sure why I'm shooting, but oh, oh that's why. It's a ship on wheels. So, otherwise, uh, I know we've been talking about like Parsec and stuff. Like, uh, were any did any of this look like something you wanted to give a shot later, height? Um, I think we did talk about it, like a bit in the first game, didn't we? Oh, uh, I know. I believe we did. Yeah, but I guess it was like I think I was like I don't know if I had ever like specified, but I guess I was posing the question of like, does this seem like something you would ever want to try like with a, like Metal Slug Four or something like that? Um, I would say yes, but you guys were telling me that that was around the point the series was starting to lose its touch. I mean, to, again, like I'll 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 still go on the record saying that the, that none of the Metal Slug, uh, the traditional Metal Slug games are bad. Like, honestly, again, they're very much comparable to that of the Mega Man games. Like, none of the games are outright bad. It's just that you can sort of tell that they were, um, that the later games never really crossed the threshold that three, that two and three left. It just started, it just started to, it was just kind of like franchise fatigue. Yeah, it started to stagnate a bit. Yeah. Hmm. That's really the worst crime that ever, those ah. the later games ever did. I mean, it's, it'd be, perfectly fine. Be like, oh. I mean, it's honestly what I would argue Pokemon's starting to feel right around now. Uh, yeah. Now, hopefully the DLC will do some more for it, but just adds. Yeah, well, I know a couple of my friends are really excited for it. I'm looking forward to them bringing back all the characters, like all the legendaries and Blastoise and Venusaur. I just, I guess, I'm looking at it and all the legendaries and those guys, and maybe I'm just cynical, but I can't help but oh yeah, congrats. Kind of a, there it is. It was like it was kind of a. Was, <laughs> this was funny. Anyway, um, I, I maybe I'm just cynical, but like I can't see, I can't see them having done that and not it, it not being clearly just a reactive measure of crap. Everyone was pissed. Let's do this now. I mean, but yeah. uh, it really feels like that. But yeah, that's all I can think of. Anyway, yes, as you saw, this game is a lot beefier than the first one. It really oh, is, yeah. and like we've already cleared four of, out of six levels, but the next two levels are pretty beefy in and of themselves. In, su in <laughs> such a way, uh, they'll take up the the second of our two part Metal Slug X commentary. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye bye. Dear God.